You're not getting your pyramid head back shots, you weirdo. In my restless dreams, I see that place. Pyramid head's ass. <laughs> My heart, I love it. Loved her. Wait. wait. <laughs> Can't wait to see the actual scene. Pure soggy man. <laughs> Drenched. <laughs> Drenched. <laughs> In water, but the man's for gonna real. cause a flood with his sweat. <laughs> In water, just perpetually. <laughs> What is this incredibly overpowering sweet scent? It smells like flowers. Uncle Bad, is this it? Huh? Is that Detective Bad and K over there? <laughs> Uncle Bad. <laughs> no, he's bad. Like he's bad. Really, really bandit. bad. You know it. You know. No. Come on. That's not quite it. Aw, too bad. But it's so pretty. I think you're still a bit too young to be wearing that. But since you found it, I guess I can let you keep it. Thanks. I'll treasure it always. Edgeworth. Skip, but we're not even 10 minutes in. Relax. These two seem to get along rather well. Oh, here. I will delay intentionally. I got something else for you. Yay! Thank Aww. you, Uncle Bad! Cute. Earlier I ate one of these with gummy. Gummy? Oh, you mean gumshoe. Gummy is. Oh, fuck. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> Gummy is. <coughs> he was trying to be nice to me because I was gonna get in trouble. I sn I sniffed way too hard. <laughs> and then he got in God, trouble in because he lied to protect me. Gummy. <coughs> <coughs> I know he didn't kill the Daddy. What was that? <laughs> that was not a hiccup. <laughs> Don't cry, Faraday. Faraday would be sad if she saw you crying. My TV is playing ocean music again. Hold up. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm sending you to the mine. <laughs> so we back in the mine. <laughs> Creeper. Oh man. <laughs> World's tiniest creeper. No, it was just a huge explosion in the distance. Mm -hmm. Oh. God, I hit it here. <laughs> oh, it's Mist. It's the Mister from before and the Lady, too. Wait, I just realized if Edgeworth got fucking adopted by Von Kama, that means Gregory's wife left them. Or died. Or died. Don't you yeah. think it'd be a good idea to go home for the time being? I always thought that Gregory was kind of a single dad. That's what I assumed. <laughs> that, like, his mom was gone before Gregory died. Thank you. You're not involved in the investigation, so it's for the best if you do. Oh, oh. I do not understand how Manifest Red works. Actually, I'm Uncle Bat's assistant. So I'm real. So I'm related to the investigation. Oh 
Uncle Bat. Is that so, Detective Bad? Yeah, I guess. Give me a second, I'm pulling my ball away. Okay. What? You were just scolding us like kids to not mess up the scene, the crime scene. But that because you're random kids. This is my fucking niece, dumbass. A child. I know you let this child run free. Why? People are free to investigate things outside the actual crime scene. You also had a few things she wanted to look into. Got a problem with that? Yes! Well, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck both of you! <laughs> no, I'm oh. in the men. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that, but I am curious as to what, what Miss Yu is looking into. Uncle Ben, I'm gonna go look somewhere else now, okay? Alright, I'm counting on you. Oh, that's right! Hey, mister! Yeah, what is it? I know Gummy isn't- I know Gummy really isn't the bad guy. I mean it. So please, find a real bad guy, okay? Mm, no. <laughs> Could you imagine just- Nah. -uh. <laughs> <coughs> I won't forgive whoever did this. But in the absence of the perfect piece of testimony and evidence... Uh -oh. There's no one... There's no one else who could be the true culprit other than Detective Gumshoe. I'm sending you to the mine. You you went to the mine. Detective Bad, what exactly was Kay searching for? Nothing that concerns you, boy. Murder case, fuck you. <laughs> oh, and I suppose it has something to do with Kay? It does, because she's Faraday's daughter. Anyway, hurry up and get to the point. I don't have time to waste.
It sounds like he'd rather be left alone. I have something I'd like to confirm with you once again. I don't have anything to say to you. That's just too damn bad. <laughs> That as it may, we still have questions that need answers to. Now then, first of all, what is this overpowering smell that's permeating this room? Upon entering this room, I thought I was going to suffocate. Is that ultra strong perfume you wears? She spilled some of it. I was having a bad time of it myself. I didn't think twice and opened the window. But that smell still is here. Damn. Shit sucks, bro. <laughs> yeah. Perfume, huh? So the sweet scent in the air is perfume. Well, it's giving off quite a stench. I bet it's some cheap no-name brand. She said it's a famous brand from overseas. It's a knockoff. Yes, definitely a knockoff. No disrespect, but she forced one of those bottles on me. Here, little girl. You can have it. Hmm. I was born for a much more expensive and refined perfume. Okay, fucking bitch. <laughs> However, seeing as how you just happen to have a spare, I suppose I'll take it. Sprays in her eyes. Miles Edgeworth, you will hold on to this bottle without fail. Use it as uses it as mace. <laughs> and what if I don't? And what if I didn't? <laughs> how about no? <laughs> ah. Can't she ever be honest about what she wants, about her wants? Angel, Angel, it's Angela. Yeah. And to be spotted. So now we have the perfume Miss You wears. Just fantastic. Is that all you wanted to talk about? If so, I'm going back to investigating.
Actually, I still have a few other things I wish to inquire about. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> so you were in this room the entire recess. Like I said. I made a call to the precinct to get that big lug down here. But other than that, I was waiting for the recess to end in here. Sounds like a bitch move. That <laughs> <laughs> bitchy bitch. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Boy. You, you can't hurt me. At least your story is consistent. Lobby when Miss you with Miss you. Yeah, I ran to her in the hallway. She says she wanted to talk to me about something, so we came in here. Oh my god, Metal Gear! Metal <laughs> Gear! Metal Gear! You can't oh, kill you're me! Good. You're pretty good. Recoil! Gay sex! And what you're saying is that until Detective Gumshoe arrives, arrival, liquid. liquid, you and Miss You were in two different locations. Hmm, guess I am. Interesting. How's that phone not dead yet? You've been on for five whole days! <laughs> Speaking of Zen Lawyer... I know, she's hot. She seems to have a great dislike for you. Oof! <laughs> Let's see, Miss Yu is the sister of the victim of the KG-8 incident. Well, when you're the head detective and you let the sister of a lawyer die in that case you were working on, yeah, no wonder she fucking hates you. Look. And, as I recall, Detective Bad was the lead detective on that case. One of the reasons for her disdain is it's simply because you failed to guard Cece. Were you fucking? No, I was asleep. 
I closed my eyes for one second and someone died. How the fuck does that happen? But because you were the lead detective on the case... Oh, wrong button. You knew? I'm omnipotent. Omniscient, even. But... I also know that today's trial involving the Kadopian Embassy staff member is being referred to as the second KG-8 incident. Now then, Detective, I believe it's time you were honest with me. And tell me the truth behind your relationship with Miss You and Mr. Faraday. And the KG-8 incident. If you already know that much, I guess it'd be alright to tell you. Now then, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the KG-8 incident. It's not exactly a happy story. Other than the people who are directly involved. You two will be the first to hear what I'm about to tell. Mmm. <laughs> I love sucking on some sucker. <laughs> you truth behind the key. The fuck you say, you little bitch? That ain't you. <laughs> the honest truth behind the it. natural laws of who the fuck asked. The honest truth behind the KGA incident. Faraday, you and I, as you already know, we three were involved with the KGA incident. Faraday and I, we were originally on the trail of a smuggling ring. Illuminati, motherfucker. I mean, a smuggling case involving one of the Am Amano group's secretaries. Shut the fuck up! I can't. Have you ever considered turning it off? I can't. The screen is broken, so I can't turn it off. Just if you hold down the power button long enough, it will turn off. No, not with this phone, it won't. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> That trial was just a front. A facade? Yeah, but the case became tainted. All because the witness who was going to testify about taint! the taint about the Amano group's ties to the smuggling ring, CCU was killed. What became of the secretary who was arrested? His name was Colin Devore. Devore. To be honest, the guy didn't know a thing about the smuggling ring. But Devor. he confessed to knowing about it anyway. Devore was probably being intimidated by the big boss man. Just another scapegoat. Big boss man? The wrestler? No, big boss, obviously. If you ever take a trip down the Cobb County, Georgia, Georgia, you better read the signs. Respect the law and order, you'll survive hard time. 
You'll be serving hard time. You know the big boss man will make you walk the line. You better watch out, boy. You'll be serving hard time. <laughs> and carries a big stick, a ball and chain, too. The boss man of the Amano group. You can't seriously meet Mr. Ernest Amano. That can't be right. <laughs> Party, right. Yeah, she is. That can't be right. It's probably just Detective Bad's personal hypothesis. Well, he is trying. He's trying to do. Suspecting Mr. Romano being. What is he trying to do? Suspect Mr. Romano of being involved with smuggling. Well, Edgar, you're gonna hate what's gonna happen seven years. I suppose it would have been quite difficult to secure an acquittal after he confessed. But the man who killed Mr. S who killed CCU, Manny Kulchin, was a completely different person. But since he's already been acquitted once of her murder... Mr. Faraday, how could you have let him go? I want my payday too. Dub. <laughs> payday 2 is now on Game Pass. If I remember correctly, you're a bitch. <laughs> I've heard that Mr. Faraday had an important piece of evidence stolen from him. That wasn't Faraday's fault. It was mine. I wasn't vigilant enough. Faraday, Cece, I was supposed to protect both. I knew hiding in a cardboard box was stupid. Why did I do that? Just a box. Miss Yu did mention that as well. About how Detective Bad was supposed to guard her sister. But, even I, who was supposed to protect them, I fell into their trap. What kind of a trap? You <laughs> activated my trap card. I play Pot of Greed! <laughs> Wait, that's oh, not a shit, trap card. Shot it. The holes in this jacket are a testament to that trap. Buzz, I knew it. They eat everything, don't they? Nick. Nah. It was Kill him off. He set up the trap. No, no, Valgaboth. Kill him off's fu Kill him off's funnier. Valgaboth's an elder god. That's also funny that he just eats sweaters. Yeah. Why did I make that a mountain? I don't have any forests in my hand. Oh god, I'm fucked. You mean you were fired upon? And Neo died. Sir? You have uh, shot Zat many times in one gunfight? No. Only about half of these are from that case. But the reason I continue to wear this jacket is to remind myself of the lessons <sighs> I learned from the KGA incident. I couldn't protect CCU, and the suspect was found not guilty. We had hit a brick wall, as far as the law was concerned. And that's when she came to the courtroom, the victim's sister. That's when I first met Callisto Yu. That's a 
five, five. Haha, fear of missing out! About when you first met Miss Yu. Was it? It was on the day of the verdict of the KG8 incident. Was handed out. Was it not? Yes. Faraday and I. We apologized to her from the bottom of our hearts. It was all we could do. But. Just saying you're sorry won't bring my sister back. She said. And then she gave me a hard slap across the face. I'm familiar with that. Well, she said they had a lot of self-control to stop at just a slap. If it was me... Not even a hundred lashes would have been punishment enough! I suppose not. He said herself... That she never wanted to see either of us ever again. Thanks, Microsoft. Really cool. Thank you again, Microsoft. Really cool. But after that, you've seen her many times over, correct? Yeah. Game Pass. <laughs> Faraday and I, even after the KGA incident had come to a close, we continued to hunt down the smuggling ring and got involved in a variety of cases. But it was no use. We cracked so many different cases. But the result was always the same. We couldn't find the real mastermind behind the ring. I mean, yeah. You think a prosecutor and a cop will find it? Wait a minute. <laughs> um. This. Is the ring really that big? It was in the pursuit of the ring. That we met you once again. It was during another trial related to the smuggling ring. Faraday was the prosecutor, and I, as the lead detective, took to the witness stand. Yui. She appeared out of the blue as the defense attorney. Her client was related to the smuggling ring, and she was defending them. We know that oh, wait, that was Edgeworth. Oops. The fuck you say? <laughs> a client was related to the smuggling ring and she was defending them. Yeah. Yui. You. Yeah, but I'm getting Yui and you mis mixed up. You. Was, pursu you! was pursuing the ring as best she could as a lawyer. I think she defended Rail this time for the same reason. To think of it, Miss Yu did say something about something to the same effect. I have my own agenda. <laughs> I'm still on the hunt for leads regarding the KG8 incident, alright? And for that, you haven't a single qualm about defending a known killer. Don't put words in my mouth. I said no such thing. Miss you said The only way I had to get the only way I had to get close to Mr. Rell was to be his lawyer. It's true, I was there, I heard it! I had no intention of covering for him ever. So don't you dare suggest I was going to It doesn't matter what her reason is. Having a criminal is just despicable. You're so naive, little girl. I could have stolen this lollipop from you. That's how naive you are. How dare you insult the daughter of Avon Karma? 
Hey buddy, what the fuck does that mean? Just like us, you felt that she had hit the limit of what the law could do. That's all. The law is merely a tool. There are no limit. There is no limit to it. Only the skill of the craftsman. Kristoff walks in. Yes, I agree with you, Mr. Edward. That is why I will use the law to get Phoenix Wright his badge away. Bobby walk. Bobby walks in. You are right, Edward. I will use the law to create the Dark Age of the Law. <laughs> All y'all motherfuckers need law school. <laughs> You two are still too young, but one day you'll know what I mean. Maybe in another trilogy, or your duology, who knows? But enough sidetracking. What matters is, is that we met you, a you again in pursuit of the smuggling ring. That's all. So what's your relation to Mr. Mr. Faraday? I do not know a Giancarlo Esposito. Bullshit. Ace Attorney anime by Damon Gantz Giancarlo. You even seem to see, you even seem to know Kay fairly well. I met him when he was a rookie prosecutor. Known him ever since. And Kay, I know her since the day she was born. Faraday and I. We cracked quite a few cases together. Uncle Bat! Hmm. But you two seem to have made no progress at all in the Yadagarasu case. Did we touch a nerve? Hm. I only have one thing to say to you. No one knew more about the Yadagaratsu than me and Faraday. That's why I was called upon to testify in today's trial. To prove that Rel was not the real Yadagaratsu. Which I would have done if he hadn't turned around and accused Faraday. After the accusation, I was asked to testify, but this time, to prove or disprove the accusation. But I guess I won't be doing that either. Sense that there's more to that statement than meets the eye. Da -da 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 -da. Da <laughs>
Perhaps a bit more digging into the Yadagarasu is what's necessary. to know much about the Yadagarasu. Care to share what you know with me? <laughs> what you two should be looking for right now is proof of a murderous intent towards Faraday and Rel. The proof is in the pudding, and the pudding is your bitch. Board. Please welcome back to the field, the good boy. I agree, which is why, which is exactly why I'm asking you about the Yadagarasu. What? The Yadagarasu. I know what you fucking said. The Yata Garasu. <laughs> the KG8 incident and the second KG8 incident. Both of these cases are tied to the smuggling ring. And in both of these cases, the witness who was about to testify about the ring was murdered. However, there is one point in which they differ. And that is the presence or absence of the great thief, Yadagarasu. Mr. Rao claimed to be the Yadagarasu. However, in the middle of the trial, he suddenly declared Mr. Faraday to be the real Yadagarasu. Then during the recess, they were both killed. Don't you find that to be a li the least bit odd? Sus, might, one might even say. Miles Edgeworth, stop beating around the bush and just spit it out already! No, I don't think I will. Don't. <laughs> I believe there must be some reason that. The two men suspected of being the Yadagarasu were both killed at the same time. A reason, huh? In order to catch them, we need to bait them into saying, I'm the Yadagarasu! And then they'll come after me and kill me, but maybe we'll catch them in time. There you are. I'm, I'm the real Yodogorosu outside the wall! <laughs> and so, in order to catch Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell's cold blooded killer, we need a bait. We need a master debater. Wait. <laughs> Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> Drags Edgeworth. We got our bait. No! No! A 
I feel I need to learn as much as I can about the Yadagarasu. If it will help you solve this case, then I'll tell you. I'll tell you the reason why we never caught the Yadagaratsu. Is it because you're a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> what was that sudden outburst for? You almost made me whip you by accident. Colorless versus mono black, cause this is gonna suck. No! It's still accident with me anyway. There are three main reasons why the Yadagaratu will always be one step ahead. First, the Yadagaratu always know the exact location of the target object. Second, the Yadagarasu always know exactly how to disarm the security system. Third! The Yadagarasu doesn't leave a single shred of evidence behind ever. Fourth! I don't know, I don't have a fourth. <laughs> I see, so those are the Yadagarasu's special traits. Sounds like an incredibly elusive thief. The Yadagarasu has never been caught on tape, never tries to draw anyone's attention, and would never do something as low brows commit murder. But what that, if it was really funny? <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. That would just throw that. Funny. That would just throw. That would just throw the entire psychoanalyzed dossier out the fucking window. No, but it'd be funny. <laughs> but, but the funny but the murder comedy. is the most justified murder. Right. That's how I knew For that rail wasn't a real man. Yadagarazu right <laughs> away. But you can't use that sort of logic on its own to prove that he wasn't. He wasn't. Listen, little girl, I'm not done talking yet. What's different about this time was that evidence related to the smuggling ring was sent to the police. And the sender was none other than the one who infiltrated the Kodopian embassy. The Yadagaratsu. The Yadagarasu sent the evidence through email. Until now, the Yadagarasu will always publicize any corrupt dealing through the mass media. They were kind of base, not gonna lie. <laughs> but not this time. Uh, excuse me. The evidence this time was something only Faraday and I and a select few others knew about. In that case, how can you be so sure it was the Yadagarasu who sent it? That's easy. A special card that only the Yadagarasu uses was attached. That's how I can be so sure. I wonder if Ron got his inspiration for the card from Yadagarasu. It would talk in like timeline wise. Card is this? Here, take a look at this article. Whenever the Yadakaratsu wants to publicize something, a white card is sent along with the stolen information. But, when we question Rel about what was sent along with the white card, Rel had no idea what it was.
Ah, and that's how Detective Bad knew Mr. Rell was a phony. Thank you very much. I now have a better, much better understanding of the Yadagarasu now. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who wants to be not Meekins? Excuse me, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes. His honor would like to transfer the evidence from today's trial, over to you. Oh. If you could, if you could please, head over to the courtroom and be much appreciated, sir. Understood. I'll be there shortly. Detective Bad, what does the law mean to you? Finding the answer to that question is the only reason I'm still alive. That's deep, man. I became a prosecutor to find the answer to that question myself. to play a part in ensuring all criminals everywhere are found guilty. I threaten whoever I want. You can. Oh, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> It appears his honor is still a bit dispirited. For the first time today, I experienced what it's like to stand at the witness stand. I now have a great appreciation. Oh, you bitch, you whore, you motherfucker. I'm going to send you to the Shadow Realm. I now have a greater appreciation for just how hard it is to give testimony. Well, there's no reason for you to be all depressed about it, Your Honor. That's Francisco. Speaking of, Neo died. Where are you? No, I'm not! I'm not! <laughs> well, there's no reason for you to be all depressed about it, Your Honor. As a judge, no one expects you to think about anything other than the, the, and the, the, the verdict. Thank you, Francisco. Very cool. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, that was English. <laughs> So Ain't nothing else written in the Bible. <laughs> it's like tongue twisters, dude. I have to do the Zenza verdict.
Francisco, there's no need to further depress his honor. The crybaby bitch has... is a big fat wussy idiot dummy bum bubbling doo-doo face. Why are you talking to yourself, Miles? I'm not trying to! <laughs> but I'm not trying to, Miles! Evidence I was be that was to be transferred to me. <laughs> Your Honor, the evidence. I. Your Honor. Oh, uh, y yes, yes. Can I help you? I'd like to collect the evidence now, sir. Joanna? Ooh, Book of Vile Darkness in my opening hand? Don't mind if I do. I'll definitely summon Vecna in this match. It'll definitely happen. Hmm, this copium's good. Do you think you can stay focused long enough to at least do your job? No. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm very capable. Y yes, I'm, I'm sorry. And I would, except that the defensive attorney has yet to arrive. Oh my god. I have Count two pieces of, I have two pieces of Vecna in my hand. Give me the give me the hand! Give me the hand! Edgeworth is counting again. <laughs> she is busy with the investigation, so let's keep this brief, shall we? Give me the hand. Play a smart, 
Baldic Banner, we can do memes later. Very well, in that case, please confirm that all the pieces of evidence are present. Furthermore, the evidence that was used in the murders of Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell are also included. So please go ahead and use them in your investigation into your, their case. Understood, Your Honor. Mountain of shit added to your inventory. <laughs> in the murder of these two men. This could be a very good chance for me to find new leads regarding their case. Right, that then. And maybe even something that will eventually they'll lead me to the truth. It's all the evidence from the oh, prosecutor bench for you. I see. Thank you very much. I'll go and confirm that they're all accounted for. Give me your fucking money! Oh! Edge was oh. having a fucking stroke. Oh, 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 this is a rat deck. Oh, this is a scary rat deck. What is Relentless Rat and how do I get- That's Mythic Rare. You're typing a lot, Neo. Yeah, sorry, I'm working on a school assignment. <laughs> uh, I can't let you have Marrow Gnar, that's for damn sure. So this is the evidence related to today's Adobian Embassy trial from Mr. Faraday's bag. Oh, wait, wait, no. No, don't die! Please! You need to survive one more turn! Please let me get the hand of Vecna! I want to summon the boy! That's that's a lot of that that that's um. I just realized those are a lot of rats. You mean the evidence bags that was on the table in lobby number two, right? Yes, finally we can take a look at the evidence itself and not just the data about them. Let's be sure to thoroughly examine them while we have the time. DS puzzles upon ye. Fuck. Agreed. 
I want to take a, look, a good look at all of the evidence from the embassy murder too. The fishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. <laughs> and why is that? Because! I still don't fully understand what today's trial was all about! Murder and stuff. <laughs> Specific specifics. Dude was murdered. Another dude was murdered. Or <laughs> someone is dead, and another person is also dead. <laughs> Closer. <laughs> they stop being. They cease to be. They are ex people. <laughs> you backtracked. <laughs> it's not specific now. <laughs> Okay, so that they've had a they had a mother, a father, and a father at some point in their life. They <laughs> too, too much detail, too much. <laughs> they breathed oxygen and excelled carbon dioxide, and now they no longer do either. Really, all three. Now that I think about it. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> don't put your crop at me just because you don't know something. Did somebody say crop? And don't you try to order me around just because Papa chose you today? <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to have that. That's illegal. Get it, get it off my field. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't allow the word landfall around here. You can keep your tax evasion to yourself. I see someone is still sore about not being picked by Mr. Von Karma. Is he gonna cry? Oh, you bitch, you bitch. I'm also <laughs> See the knife up close. Why does that remind? That's no, that reminds me of something. Hold on, I need to find it. Okay. It's also real to see the knife up close. Lock the goblin. That's not the goblin. So we have the knife, the gun, an envelope, and what's this organizer doing here? Oh, that's right. I completely forgot to tell you. About what, Your Honor? They found Mr. Faraday's personal organizer inside that evidence bag of his. Detective Bad requested that it be passed along to you. He said it would help the investigation. Detective Bad said that. But he's bad. Please welcome back to the field. Sanitarium skeleton! What a strange. Oh. Don't mind, I'm just typing up What a stuff. strange stroke of luck! What the fuck is this picture, Atlas? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the evidence bags remind me of! <laughs> what are you doing with, with flaming Hot Popcorn, a can of corn, a drill, condoms, a vibrator, and vinegar? This is a nice little science experiment! <laughs> Oh, you do your soul work? It's vinegar. What? It's vinegar, pussy. <laughs> Vodka, I like your style. It's vinegar. What? It's vinegar, pussy. Oh no, the, the tax evasion's going to begin! Well, never look at your horse in the mouth. Might as well flip through it too. Oh my god, there's so many pictures of dicks in here. <laughs> They're really well detailed. I'm just gonna put this one back in the bag. Mm. Wait, this isn't blood on this knife at all, it's raspberry jam. <laughs> nope, that's blood. Ah, excellent! Yeah! It's 
and I thought it was used to kill Mr. Faraday. Also, I did see it, by the way, Nick. I you know. weren't going to get me. God damn, stop typing up a storm. <laughs> it's an assignment. Who would have thought that such a beautiful piece of art could be used for such a cruel act? Feed my vampire, Mr. Freeman. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Now you have fucked up. By the way, emergency weld. No attacks, though. And it never crossed your mind that you use your writing crop over the wrong for the wrong purpose. But it's the right purpose. I'll tell you when you're older. Mr. Faraday's organizer. It appears he was in the habit of using it. Oh, piss the bed and shit the branches. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you wouldn't hurt just a little guy. Oh God, they would hurt a little guy. <laughs> you wouldn't punch a guy with glasses, would you? Well, that needs to go, get off the top. I need to get off the field immediately. <laughs> Go to hell before you die. It looks like he. Oh. Yeah, it's Francisca. Again. Hey, yo! <sighs> what do you mean, why, do you? I know! What? It looks like he wrote. He wrote this strategy for getting Mr. Rell convicted down in here. That Mr. Faraday honestly believed that Mr. Rell was the killer in the case. Foolish, fool, foolishly foolish. You know, you know your bit. Oh, you're gonna swing at me with that? I have two things of death touch, my guy. Send the lamb to the slaughter. Do it, pussy. appear that he had proof that Mr. Rell was not the Yadagarasu. Ah. It appears he also had very a very definitive piece of defendant of evidence. And so I believe that Mr. Faraday, Faraday was well prepared. Was he ready for some football? Well, that was just rude. Why did you do that? That's just rude and mean and uncalled for. Honestly, you're a poopy head. <laughs> Sacrifice. 
accredited claim Mr. Rell may have made about being the real Yadagarasu. I had a way to prove that Mr. Rell. And he, I did, I did. And he had a way to prove that Mr. Rell was the guilty party in the embassy murder. Oops, I went a little French there. Francesca's not French. Mother. Can't give a trample. I got the rat patrol and the gap patrol. Those who want to make sure your casket toast. <laughs> I still have walls. This organization organizes the clue straight from Mr. Faraday. A million balls in front of you. Okay, uh, we officially have hit a problem. Uh, I'll have to take my time and give a thorough read later. There's 157 pages of... Oh my god, the most graphic fanfic I've ever read in my life. I'm, ta I'm stealing this. Meow. Yeah. There's a picture stuck between these pages here. Funky looking key. That's the key to my heart. Don't go breaking mine. Okay. Don't go breaking mine. I will be my killer. It appears to be a key. Shitty border key. Really, this thing is garbage. <laughs> Got butterflies on. And a rather ornate one at that. Just look at the design on the handle. Is I the lockpicking lawyer? Yes, 15 scrolls. Oh, 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 cruel cause cry. Heist. And murder. And warlock. The infamous cruel cause heist. Mine now. I, I'll take your tax evasion. The craftsmanship is superb. The Yadagarasu key, Mr. Faraday mentioned in his organizer.
The Yagarasu's key? Detective Bad said something earlier. What's the difference about this time? Was that evidence related to the smuggling ring? It was sent to the police. And the sender was none other than the one who infiltrated the Kotopian Embassy. The Yadagaratu. Oh. I see we're doing this, huh? We're all going to stab your planeswalker to death. The, the Yadagarasu sent the evidence. Until now, the Yadagarasu. One, one minute. Oh. We'll always publicize any corruption. Uh, I need, I'll be right back. My mom needs me. Okay. okay. We'll always publicize any corrupt dealings through the mass media. But not this time. The evidence this time was something only Faraday and I, and a select few others, knew about. Mr. Faraday must have been trying to keep this secret key safe. Doc. I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back. Ah, uh, <laughs> goddammit, I'm just gonna lose this entire fucking board. Uh, as a prosecutor of both the Yadagarasu and smuggling ring cases, that's to be expected. That's odd.
and Neo died. <laughs> what is it? Mr. Faraday didn't mention anything about a knife in his organizer. That certainly is odd. It is a good day to commit crime. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh my god, it's a meme deck. The, the weapon that was used to kill the Kodafian embassy staff member was the gun. But if that's the case, then where did the knife that was used to murder Mr. Faraday come from? Obvious? It was brought into the court the courthouse by Mr. Rell. That's the only logical conclusion, right? Francisca, this is a courtroom after 2001. No, because it's not e that easy to smuggle a weapon like that in here. Every person who enters the courtroom's door, doors is checked thoroughly for contraband. Furthermore, the suspect was handcuffed, making it impossible for him to bring a knife as large as this inside. It must have been a pen. In that case, how do you suppose this knife ended up inside the courthouse? I need to think carefully here. There's nothing related to the knife written anywhere in Mr. Faraday's organizer. However, it's the fact that this is a knife. This knife came from Mr. Faraday's evidence bag. Conversely, there is one item listed in Mr. Faraday's organizer that no one claimed to have seen today. So in order to solve this mystery, I would recommend you definitely block. Yeah. Hmm. Oopsie poopsie, you activated my trap card. I believe I will need to take another good look at the evidence.
Neo, wake up. Mm. Miles Edgeworth, can I take the fact that you have yet to answer me? To mean that you don't have an answer for me? Smart ass 13 year old. <laughs> this is friends we're talking about. <laughs> I love my memes.org! <laughs> the Book of Vile Darkness! I concede! I actually do know the answer, Francisca. What? Then what is it? 3.141593. Oh. <laughs> One of the pieces of evidence we've been hiding, we've been holding, has been hiding a secret of its own. God, I got three pages of evidence. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Count spell. One. It's my favorite spell that I have in my proxy deck. One! Ah, ah, ah! I have now the ability to make two Vecnas. I'm powerful. What do you mean I've only ever been able to summon Vecna once? This Yadagarasu's key, Mr. Faraday mentions in his organizer. This is how the knife was brought into the courtroom. You're not making any sense, Miles Edvard! Hmm. You need to look a bit closer, Francisca, to see what I mean. Don't the color and the ornamentation of the key's handle remind you of anything? Hmm. They do okay. remind me of the knife. It is literally a butterfly knife. Oh Get my it. god. Oh my <laughs> god. Ha ha. They got us. Very good. weird because I don't think that's an actual butterfly knife. I know what a butterfly knife looks like. Yeah. I know weapons. It's close enough. Not even remotely. <laughs> oh my god, it's so not a butterfly knife. My brother owns a butterfly knife. They're, they're the kind that there's the knives that you flip around and do tricks with. Yeah, yeah I try to do a trick with that knife. Uh, almost cut my finger. Yeah. 
That's why they make trainers. So you don't slice your finger off. Well, my brother didn't have a trainer, so... I'd say get, you could get one, but uh, I'm not sure how legal they are because butterfly knives have like a lot of legality laws around them. Uh. Knives have a lot of like really weird weapon laws around them. Hmm. Like, I mean, it makes sense. Like you can have like in some places you can have a switchblade, but not a gravity knife, and uh, it's a mess. Both the yeah. Adonarasu key in this photo and the murderous knife have this very unique design on their handles. For the e? The only object we found in the crime scene was the knife. You don't seriously mean to say. Here's you finally caught up. There's a shit key anyway. D and yes, I do mean to say these two pieces are, in fact, one in the same. But that's impossible. Observe. <laughs> you may gasp in shock now. <laughs> Even if that is what you believe. We should still investigate this possibility. No. He has puzzle upon you. No. Now then, let's examine this life in a little bit more detail. He has puzzle! <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, it is definitely a switchblade. Oh, yeah. But where's the key handle? Where's the key? Where's the keyhole? <laughs> where's the right door there. hole? What the fuck? Oh my god, it, I, okay, it actually is a butterfly knife. Yeah, because it has It the doubles as a key! Of the handle. I can't believe it turned into a key! To think there was such a trick to this thing. That's this thing. That's a really fucking clever way to hide a butterfly knife. Yeah. That's a really clever way to get your extra time in jail if your butterfly knife is illegal. <laughs> what, what do you mean? This is my house key. <laughs> That's a one big ass house key. My totally normal this is, house this key. Is my this is my butterfly fork. <laughs> Those are real things, by the way. You get like a whole butterfly set of cutlery. Oh my god. <laughs> Go to the fucking lunch table, pull it out, it's like. <laughs> it's a fucking spoon. Butterfly spork. I will now Google this. Oh my god. <laughs> so the weapon used to kill Mr. Faraday is actually the key to the Yadagarasu stole. Okay, I'm not see. Well, um. Not necessarily seeing a spork, but I am seeing. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Uh, no, <laughs> that, no, that's just a. One with a key on the handle. But I have found a whole litany of butterfly items, including a butterfly can bottle opener, <laughs> bottle, and a butterfly comb. Oh my god. Fuck you! Brother who's Ball playing more. something completely unrelated. This piece of information is more critical than anything we've learned up until now. Yeah. 
Frankly, I'm shocked. <laughs> Mr. Faraday only mentioned a key aspect of this piece of evidence in his organizer. It's possible that even he had no idea the key was hiding a knife blade inside. But if that's true... Oh, look at that. The best courtroom lobby theme is not during a courtroom trial. Then only someone knew... That, that's Francisca. Is there only someone who knew about the key to, to, to the key to knife trick could have killed Mr. Faraday? Yes, thank you, Francesca. Very cool. You could have a three-one on turn one. Are you insane? That's illegal. I'm amazed. Even among law enforcement, this key was top secret. We're looking for someone who knew even more about the key than even Mr. Faraday. Oh no! Oops, my power word kill. Give me back my vampire! Trying to steal my shit. Being the only person this could have it could have been meaning only meaning that the only person who could have could be it could be is the one who sent the key in the first place? Fuck shit piss. <laughs> the great thief Yadagarasu. Then maybe Mr. Rao really was the Ryota Garatsu. And he was the one who killed Mr. Faraday. Isn't that one possible scenario? No, not really, especially since Mr. Faraday was absolutely convinced that Mr. Rell was not the Yadagarasu. Besides, as Detective Bad said earlier... But when we questioned Rell about what was sent along with the white card, Rell had no idea what it was. I see. Alright then, I guess the person who knows the trick, the trick behind this key is someone else, and that person is the real Yadagarasu.
<laughs> hmm, it seems this key is truly the key to solving this case, key. I took a quick look through these documents before the trial started. Sucks to suck, loser. <laughs> well, I wasn't even afforded the opportunity to skim it. I suppose I should explain it to you then. Yes, you should! Perfectly and in its entirety, if you please. On the night of September 8th, an embassy staff member was killed in the front of the embassy. The staff member died of shock due to being shot in the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Macrell was brought in that night as a suspect and thoroughly questioned. Because the murder weapon was found on him, for which he was arrested on the spot. Eat my asshole! Conceited prick just hit me! A simpleton of a man, that's what he was. Perhaps he was, for the weapon wasn't the only incriminating in what evidence he had. Mr. Rell was caught in the act on film by a security camera.
He was an even bigger simpleton than I'd thought. I can't believe he didn't notice a security camera. Dauphian Embassy security system is, suppose, is supposedly very well designed. You may not have simply not been aware that there was a camera in the area. So, have you seen the contents of the video for yourself? Well, they've Mr. Dead, man. That's his, that's his name, right? I don't want to look stupid. Yep. No, wait. Died, man. There we go. Dead man. I think it is dead man because of how the uh, eyes positioned. Yes, the surveillance video took... The surveillance video, the security camera took... It's dead in reverse. No way is <laughs> Black. <laughs> It's died in reverse. There we go. <sighs> oh, your whole plan is really annoying, aren't isn't it? Let's play during the trial by Mr. Faraday. You can clearly identify Mr. Rell on it. Even the sound of the gunshot was crystal clear. Impressive considering it was 480p. So the footage included sound, huh? I don't think I'd ever want to see the moment of someone's death in real life. No one does. Nope. Me neither. Anyway, let's go back to the concert footage. <clears throat> Can't. Let's flash forward to the concert footage. No. Too late. <laughs> Lavier's guitar catches on fire somewhere. <laughs> somewhere in California. Somewhere in California. Oh god, damn it! Your go, pussy. Can't activate it. God damn it! This gun—it was originally used to kill the Gaddafi Embassy staff member. The crime was reported. The responding police found Mr. Rell still holding it, which led to his immediate arrest.
then this. Oh. Yeah, that's Francisco. Oh, I got. Mm. And then, this gun took the original shooter's life. How ironic. else we can learn from this piece of evidence. That's odd. We're short one piece of evidence. And that piece is missing is a surveillance video that was played in court. Yeah, that's important. The surveillance video? How could a piece of evidence just disappear? Where did it go? Someone stole it. If be yes, someone stole your incredibly important evidence. Yes. committed the murder. Where well, could it have gone indeed? Have you tried the VCR? Are you done with your inspection of the evidence? Yes, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm washed up. There's no point in me continuing. Tell the Metro to choose his death! <laughs> However, Your Honor, I'm missing a single piece of prosecutional evidence. Let me just answer that question for you, Francisca. Yes. <laughs> your Honor, were you derelict in your duties? I have three warlock classes on the field. What? No! I dare not lick, lick my duties. What do you take me for? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, you're this kind of whore, aren't ya? Oh. My favorite. No, Your Honor, the most important piece of evidence in today's trial. The surveillance video is not amongst the evidence la you laid out for me. Mm-hmm. 
When I brought Mr. Faraday's home bag, we made it to the cro from the crime scene. Maybe the tape is still somewhere at the crime scene? Suspense music. There's something wrong here. Something about this missing piece of evidence. To find the answer that I seek, I will have to pay another visit to the scene of the crime. Defendant Lobby Number Two. What the fuck? What? Hmm. That's such a bad. But who is he with? I know what that hair anywhere. Why do I, and why do I have an instinct to want to throw him out the window? <laughs> he had a hat before. He had to cover his magnificent hair. <laughs> his ear hair. Kill! <laughs> and the other... And then he had that. That wasn't Sorry. English. That's still not Never English. Never seen that episode before. So, did you find it? No, not yet. I looked everywhere. I see. Well then, please continue with the search. Understood, I'll continue the search. Heh. <laughs> so you're the one running this show? Prosecutors like you shouldn't even be allowed at crime scenes. How dare you! Just who the fuck do you think you are? Bye, bitch. You are not allowed to have landfall. Stop committing crime. What was that all about? And who was that man just now? Your future boyfriend. Duh. Oh, absolutely the <laughs> fuck not. Whatever you say, bottom. I am the top of the top to ever top. Not really. The She-Hulk ending in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 proved otherwise. You fucking piss baby. Whoever he was, I Not never seen a more important count. officer in my life. Impudent. Fuck. You should make a detective tier list, Neo. Yeah. Does he even know what, that we're standing right here behind him? I know you're standing right behind me. What do you want, kid? I have.
have a fucking mirror on me. What do you expect? I can literally see- I fucking <laughs> yeah. see you. It looks like you were paying attention after all. Of course I was. I have eyes in the back of my head. It's really funny that he has a holster for his mirror. You are banished to the black hole! Ah, uh, so that mirror isn't for vanity's sake. It's for him to keep an eye out on who or what is behind him at all times. So tell me, Detective Bad, who was that rude man just now? The guy came here from the Republic of Shang Fa to study. He's Agent Lang. He's trying everything he can to revive the lost honor of his family. He's traveling the world to study What's different that? philosophies of detainment from scratch. With that hair, he's failing miserably. Departments around the world has a lot of dedication. He's still just a rookie cop, but I sense a strong grudge of some sort from him. The guy's more useful than Gumshoe, even if he's rude. But Dad, just like a no fun allowed deck. Well, he sure has a lot of guts to come to his country and give prosecutors a hard time. I agree, however, I can think of one young lady that statement also applies to. Anyway... What was that agent looking for, Detective Bad? Oh, yeah, that little girl was poking around in lobby number one as well. Like I said before, it got nothing to do with the two of you. to have that. That's illegal. Hmm. I highly doubt that it has nothing to do with me. If this is the game I must play, then I will take this opportunity to draw out what he's been hiding and what happened in this room straight from him! Why do you have to force me to walk over to him five feet away, game? Lobby number one, 
And now you're here in lobby number two. Don't say that. I don't got enough money to. I don't got enough money to commission TJ to make me a Soma Cruz profile picture. So quite the busy man, Detective Bad. Multiple returns to a crime scene brings about success. That's what we detectives say. I see. In that case, you wouldn't mind if I asked about what happened again, correct? I don't have anything left to say to you, boy. Yes, you do. This is Boy! Just... You'll see. I'll draw my answer from you one way or another. With violence if I have to. Detective Bad is just Kratos. But you're using... You're using your snake voice. I, I don't got the brain to do a Kratos voice. Are you kidding me? Boy. <laughs> All you have to do is be very deep in your voice, boy. I am the poster child for fuck around and find out. True. And I don't mean that in the way that my opponents do. Ha ha! My family is dead. <laughs> and I killed them. Would it kill you to help us even a tiny bit in our investigation? Yes, it's killing me now. <laughs> I gave Faraday's notebook to the judge earlier. That's help enough, don't you think? No. Damn, I can't believe Neo died again. Sag. Wendy's is selling Krabby Patties in real life. Yeah. I want one. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Wendy's has a Krabby Patty meal coming up. Now I gotta go to Wendy's. <laughs> Please, we are asking for you to just be just a bit more quat of your co-op away on. Shut the fuck up, don't push me, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I will push however I please. Ooh. But there! <laughs> but then! My dad knows him. <laughs> My dad knows him. <laughs> I'll have uh, a Krabby Patty. How are I have two number nines with number extra nine onion. Lot. Kill yourself. <laughs> A number six with extra dip. Two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a large soda. What does that actually mean? This is a courthouse. <laughs> I'd like to ask once again about what happened around here at the time of the crime. 
I refuse to answer. Any more investigating you do will be a waste of time. Besides, how am I supposed to answer questions about things I don't know about? Will it actually taste like a Krabby Patty? Things you don't... <sighs> Fran? <laughs> Waiter! Things you don't know about? Aren't you supposed to know everything? One Krabby Patty from Wendy's, please! Yeah, I figured this. I figured the post would get a million likes. I can finally, I can finally be like I'm from the show, SpongeBob eating a Krabby Patty. Don't push it. No, no. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Put that thing out of my misery. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Get it fucking your goddamn planeswalker bullshit. Uh, look, at, look at me to think new, new, new art. They're so cute. Where the oh fuck God. is Athena? <laughs> Where's Athena? They're all so cute. If I Come to the Capcom Cafe, I will call you a sir. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay extra <laughs> to get me to call you a sir. <laughs> Every dollar you spend, I will personally call you a sir. Pay me a hundred dollars and I will kick you to the curb. <laughs> Pay me a dollar and I shoot you in the face. <laughs> Pay me a dollar and I'll, I don't know, I'll give you my rat. <laughs> it's a mouse. Fake fan. <laughs> no, it's a rat. I'm, a, I'm the real Nosuke of the group. It's a rat to me. The giant rat that makes Wait, all of the rules. Possible? He doesn't know about that trick behind the piece of evidence. Oh boy, time to be having an annoying opponent. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I should try showing it to him. You may prove to be the key to getting some answers from Detective Bad. We'll show that thing next time. <laughs> <laughs>